everybody, thanks for tuning in to Hemmings Motor News. Today I want to show you how to protect your high temp cast iron, aluminum, steel, anything that gets really, really hot. This stuff gets really, really hot and that cooks off paint so it's always crusty, it gets rusty really easy, and the paint just boils up and flakes so it just looks terrible. Well, we're gonna show you how to coat exhaust manifolds, anything that gets up to 1200 degrees, this paint will work really well on it. We're talking about POR15 high temp paint. We have two different colors here. We have manifold gray and aluminum. We've got this cast iron manifold and we are going to paint one section with the manifold gray. We're gonna leave the center raw and then we're gonna paint the other section with the aluminum paint so that you can see kind of the color difference compared to raw cast iron. We're gonna show you guys how to do all of this for your project. So here's the deal. We've got this brand new cast iron manifold. If we were doing an old manifold, we would want to sandblast this first to get off any rust, dirt, grease, anything that's in the pores of the metal. The sandblasting is gonna open that up and remove all of that and give the paint a little bit better surface to stick to. But since this is brand new, we don't have to take that step. We just need to make sure it's clean. In order to do that, we need to use a little bit of POR15 cleaner degreaser. Now this is a really important part of this paint. Unlike most of the POR15 paints, this is not compatible with their rust prevention system. This is its own DTM, direct to metal paint. So this is designed to go directly on to bare metal. That's an important step because if you put this on top of anything else, it's not going to have the adhesion that you're looking for, especially when you get up into that 1200 degree range. So you really want to have your surface raw metal. Sandblast it is the best. If you can't sandblast it, then you're gonna to wanna to hit it with an 80 grit sandpaper to rough it up and give the paint a nice surface to bite into. We're also gonna show you two different ways to apply this. So we have pints. This is also available in an aerosol can. We're going to show you how to brush it on and we're going to mix up a little bit with some POR15 reducer and we're gonna use this aerosol cans. You can put just about anything in this, assemble it, and then take it over to your air compressor and pump this thing up to about 100 PSI, and then you have a handheld aerosol. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up, get started. All right, so first things first, we're gonna put on some gloves so we don't get paint all over our hands. We're gonna do the manifold gray first. Move that out of the way for a minute so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is spray this with the POR15 cleaner degreaser. We're gonna go ahead and scrub it just a little bit with a wire brush, just to make sure that any dirt or grease is off of this. All right, now we're gonna take this outside, blast it off with some water. Be back in just a minute. Okay, so now we've got our manifold prepped. It's nice and clean, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tape off a section here. Just gonna tape off right here, kind of in the middle. We're not doing anything fancy with this. We're just trying to show you the kind of the differences in colors. So first thing we're gonna do is mix up a little bit of this aluminum paint to spray. So we've got our can open. Anything that you pour out of this cannot go back in to the can. It can cause a reaction. So we just wanna pour a little bit out. We're not gonna need very much. So this is a little thick to spray out of our spray bottle. So we've got some POR15 reducer. This also works as their cleanup. Just a little splash. You don't need very much. Then we're gonna mix this up. And pour this straight into the can. That should be enough to get our prime coat. Now I'm just gonna take this over to air compressor air it up. So we've got our paint in the can. Let's see how this works. Mm -hmm. 
depending on your spray can, you can always take a brush and you can always smooth it out a little bit. So if you got a run or you didn't get uh, into a certain area, you can always take your brush and just smooth it out a little bit. All right, now this needs to dry for about two hours before we can move on to the final coat. Before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and prep this one. Yeah, we got a little bit of overspray. I'm not worried about it. This is gonna be a darker color. Normally, you wouldn't have this issue because you wouldn't be applying two different colors. Now, we're gonna do the manifold gray. You're gonna to wanna to pour some of this into a small cup. You do not want to paint directly from this to this because anything that it picks up from this can cause this to catalyze and dry up. You don't want that to happen. Pour this out into something else. Don't pour very much because you can't pour it back in. That's very important. They're very specific about that in the instructions not to pour anything that you poured back out. So for that, we just need another little mixing cup. We don't need much. It's not gonna take much to do this. So we're just gonna pour out a little bit. We already stirred the can earlier, but we're gonna go ahead and stir this again. I'm not gonna reduce this because we're applying it with a brush, so there's no need. Just put a little bit right here on your brush and then apply it. We're looking for a thin coat, so I'm not going too heavy. It really does not take very much. This stuff covers really well. It really soaks into the pores of the metal, which I like. Anything like lint, even a hair from your brush can cause an issue once you start heating this up because that stuff will burn up and it can leave little pockets and cause your finish to not be as nice as it should be. What's really cool about this stuff is it dries to the touch in about four hours. It's fully dried after 24 and the pores are closed. So you have to sand it if you're gonna apply any more on top of it after 24 hours. It's not fully cured until this sees 300 degrees for 15 minutes. When you put this on the vehicle, in this case on the engine, you would fire it up, you let it run, you get it hot for about 15, 20 minutes, and you shut off, let it cool off. That's gonna completely cure this. That doesn't mean you have to stop, you can just run. So you just put this on your car, fire it up, go driving, whatever, you're good. But it will not fully cure until it has 300 degrees for 15 minutes. All right, so now our part is dry to the touch. We don't, nothing's coming off on our fingers. So now I'm gonna finish it up, spray our final coat. Then we're gonna pour what's left over in here out. We're gonna fill this up with some paint thinner, which will clean all this out. We'll spray out the nozzle to make sure it's clear and then put this away for next time. So now we're gonna finish up our brush side. So we got the rest of our paint here. And we're gonna apply this a little bit heavier than last time. You can actually apply this on the vehicle, which is really cool. So if you've got your headers already mounted or your manifolds and they're looking crusty, as long as you can clean them up on the vehicle, you can apply this on the car. We're gonna let this sit for a little bit, come back and do a dry brush. All right, so we've waited about 45 minutes or so. It's a little bit tacky, a little drier than I wanted it to be to dry brush. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of the reducer. This is what we were using to clean up our brushes and stuff with. So now, just lightly brush over this to knock down any brush marks. All right, let's have a look here. Okay, there we go. That's looking really sharp. That's all there is to this process. Now, this is dry enough. I think we can go ahead and remove our tape. All right, final reveal here coming up. There you go. That is pretty dramatic right there. The aluminum looks great. I love this. I love this on aluminum intakes. It really brightens them up, keeps them clean for a long time. For 
cast iron, this looks amazing. You could put this on just about anything. This actually works really well on smokers, barbecues, things like that as well. So you can keep everything that you've got at home looking really sharp and crisp. We're gonna go ahead and let this cure up. Again, 24 hours, this is dry and good to go, but it is not fully cured until it has hit 300 degrees for 15 minutes. Make sure you check out por15.com for all of their rust prevention and top coats. Thanks for watching.